All right, so um, my poem is, in, is on immigration as well, like his. So I'm sorry if I offend anybody too. What is, what is an immigrant? Here, let me give you a hint. A person who migrates to another country and is considered foreign. The place where it all started, I guess that's important. Ellis Island was the first place where immigrants were allowed. A great big crowd stood standing before the door. A little bit more than a hundred, more like several thousand immigrants looking for jobs. As they leave with sadness and sobs, they come looking for a new life and to support their most valuable treasure. However, they are made fun of for trying to support their loved ones. Going through pain, they came for nothing less than success. Why do they have to be considered legal when they can be like the American Eagle, the symbol of freedom? It's sad how some of us treat them. As soon as some see them in a flash, they are viewed as trash. They are no different than other humans. They have the same flesh and bone. They are seen differently and are isolated in their own zone to face their problems all alone. But in reality, the only difference is their skin tone. In another note, the Muslim group faces discrimination. Every day they have to pray and hope they stay without the feeling of betray. But their humbleness shows they see others as brothers belonging to another race. They are accepted into society at a slower pace. Because of a group of terrorists, now they are all watched by others with an evil gaze. Sometimes they are all seen with little or no trust. People, please people, let's cut the fuss. I think it's obvious and easy to detect. It isn't all Muslims, so why treat them with no respect? They have been treated with disrespect, and even though most of the time it's shown indirect, it's still incorrect. Yet discriminators show no regret. It is said that the Hispanic group like to jump fences. They take those jokes as offenses and think, why can't people think with their moral senses? Without their moral sense, yet most don't notice without them, who will pick the food under the scorching heat, an everyday thing we all eat? The path of getting to the border is not one everyone can survive. Those who do are lucky to have stayed alive. It is filled with a lot of danger, putting all your trust into a stranger. While on the road, some die of starvation and dehydration. To get across, they have to pay a lot of money and face depredation. Many get the feeling of desperation and hesitation. Without any inspiration, there is also no motivation, making it seem like they will never reach their destination. I have a question for all you people. How would you like that feeling of being in a steep hole? You would want someone to come for your rescue. The amount of people that would help are only a few. A small hole of light would be your only sign of hope and view, hoping you won't get brushed off like residue. Obama has helped some immigrants by passing the DREAM Act. This allows some people to stay in USA with their families and keep in contact. It only offers six years of residency to those graduates in high school and college. The most valuable jewel is that of knowledge. After those six years, they can apply for permanency, so they won't be here with the feeling of hesitancy. This has and will help many young adults with their future that burns bright. Hopefully immigrants in the future aren't seen with a spite. Hopefully we could all live together in a community where everyone is equal and in unity. Let me say that one day that would be the best way. <laughs>